Antonio here, and this is Antonio with Tech, and in today's video, I'll be discussing the Rode PodMic, which quite honestly might be the perfect XLR mic for YouTubers and streamers. Let's waste no time, and let's get started. The first thing is the build. The Rode PodMic is definitely a thick boy. At around two pounds, it's like carrying a little toy chihuahua. Jokes aside, it's actually pretty average in weight, but definitely a solid build. And for the price, the build is amazing. It's super thick as you can see here is the metal part here has kind of like the plastic and the whole build itself is kind of cased in and has a pretty solid build around it that makes it super solid that I think if you were to drop it or if something were to hit it, it would basically be very durable compared to other mics and you are not worried for this to bend over since even if you try to squeeze this down, you can't really press it down like other mics that you will find in the market. So moving on to the features, one of the biggest features, which was one of the reasons why I purchased this mic, is the internal pop filter. It has a really solid internal pop filter that kind of cancels a lot of the plosives that you will find when you're talking or when you're pronouncing the P's. So it sounds pretty, pretty good. And I think the other aspect to it is that it has a pretty solid noise floor, like a pretty low noise floor compared to other mics. Of course, this is a $99 mic, so I wouldn't compare it to a $300 mic like the Shure SM7B or any other other mics, but it's a pretty solid competitor for only $100. Now the pros and cons. The pros, it is an affordable mic. Yes, it is an XLR mic, and it is super affordable. As I said, $99 for an XLR mic, and for its quality, it is worth every single dollar. And the other pro would be having an internal pop filter. And usually other mics, it will require you to get an external pop filter, which means that you have to buy something else and try to experiment with what works for you and what doesn't. So with this mic, you don't have to run that risk. It already comes with an integrated pop filter, which makes it great to record things and don't have to worry much about removing the P's in post-production. And it does a pretty good job, so I haven't had to buy an external pop filter with just the internal one. It works amazing. The other pro will be that it doesn't require phantom power. While it does need an interface, it is not necessary to use phantom power. I still use the interface that I have here, which I'll talk about in a little bit, just briefly. But basically, I still use it sometimes just to make sure that I don't record the audio way too low. But other than that, it really doesn't need phantom power to run or to have a pretty good volume when you're recording it. The other pro would be great quality for the price, and it also requires minimal editing. I'll do some tests later in this video to show you how it sounds exactly without any editing, just a raw audio file. So this means that the mic already comes with really great quality out of the box and with minimal editing and even in some noisy environments as well too. Now the cons. It doesn't come with a stand or anything to put it on. So as you can see here, the mic just comes, just the mic and the box, that's it. Just the mic, no cables, no nothing, no boom arm. This is bought separately. So with the $99, you just get the bare bones microphone. That's it. The other cons, and I put it as the cons because I know a lot of people sometimes don't want to have all their equipment or maybe they don't have a budget to get an interface. Being an XLR mic means that you need an interface. So for me, I personally use the M Audio M Track Solo, but you can use any other interface you like, whether it's a Scarlett or any other one that is within your budget. For me, having an XLR mic is not a con, but as I said, for some it might be just because of the need to get an extra piece of equipment. So if you're short on space or you don't have the budget for it, it can definitely be a cons for that. Now, I've never been a huge technical. Now, I'm not a technical specs expert and neither do I like too much sharing technical specifications, but if you're interested in those, here are some specs. This mic is a dynamic microphone with a cardioid polar pattern with a frequency range between 20 Hertz to 20 kilohertz sensitivity at negative 57 decibels. That's it for the specifications that I want to share. How does it actually perform? So for videos, I've been using this microphone for most of my videos for over eight months. You probably have seen it in most of my videos. And quite honestly, it is an amazing mic. What it can do for videos it truly elevates the audio quality. Before I moved to the, this new place that I'm in, I was recording videos in my kitchen from the previous apartment that I was living in, and I was next to a noisy old fridge. Yeah, seriously. And this mic was excellent with editing and noise removal. I was able to get a pretty, pretty solid audio with this microphone, and it was pretty noisy. Like I compared it with other mics, 
even some of the like lav mics and the other mic that i had that was in usb did a poor job but with this one it did an amazing job so highly highly recommend it if you live in a semi noisy place and if you have the ability to edit and you know how to edit audio definitely recommend it if you live in a noisy place if you don't if you live in a more quiet place this mic is great as it comes which means that in the new apartment that i'm right now it truly truly shines the full potential of this mic and the true quality of this mic I've also been streaming with this mic. As I mentioned before, I stream on Twitch on twitch.tv, the Antonio Ruiz, and I use this mic also for streaming. And it runs pretty smoothly, no issues in terms of how it runs. Quality is great as it is, no complaints there. So now we're gonna be running some tests and the following test is just the audio unedited, just raw as it is. So let me quickly show you what I'm talking about. This is me typing at a regular speed, I'm not clicking too hard. Uh, this is me typing at a harder speed. Uh, this is me typing super hard, how it sounds with my voice on it. Uh, this is me a little farther back. And this is me a little farther back and more farther back at the same volume. And now, Now, this is how it sounds while I'm speaking with the central AC unit, which is running and there's no noise canceling. And this is exactly how it sounds. These are just some tests that I think are useful. Of course, there's a lot more scenarios to test this mic with, but I thought this would be the more important one since most people are typing, most people maybe have an AC running and sometimes people move a little bit backwards or a little bit forward. And you might want to hear how the microphone sounds as it is raw in situations like streaming or anything like that. So that's kind of about it for the testing section of this video. Now some final thoughts. The Rode mic can be a great budget XLR microphone that gives you a huge return on your investment and it is worth every single penny to the $99 that it costs. It is compact yet sturdy, great audio quality with minimal editing required on most spaces. Even in noisier spaces, as I said, it reduces a lot of the sounds and those sounds can be edited in post-production slash editing in something like Adobe Audition. And it's not too much of a problem if you have some knowledge or ability editing audio. All right, that's it for today's video. If you did enjoy this video, please make sure to leave a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit the notification bell to get notified every single time I post. And I'll catch you all in two weeks with the next video. Bye-bye.